Acknowledge your presence in this place. Gaya King Konzo. Move in this place. Manifest your power mightily in this place. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your kingship. You are king. You rule forever. You are the owner of an unconquerable kingdom. You reign forever until eternity. Mama kuda kapa sutaka. Zipra pa pa kodo soto kodo sutaka. Zipa pa 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 pa. Zipa pa kodo soto kodo soto kodo. Zipa take it, take it, take it. Zipa take it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Grace restores us to our legitimate, to our legal, to our rightful, to our proper position. Grace is a restorer. Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 8 to 11. Thank you, Lord. I'll read from the NIV. The Bible says, David asked, Is there anyone still left of the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness? Can we replace the word kindness there with grace? To whom I can show grace for Jonathan's sake. Now there was a servant of Saul's household named Ziba. They called him to appear before David. And the king said to him, Are you Ziba? Your servant, he replied. The king asked, is there no one still left of the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness, to whom I can show God's grace? Ziba answered the king, There is still a son of Jonathan. He is crippled, underline crippled, in both feet. Where is he? the king asked. Ziba answered, he is at the house of Machir, son of Amiel, in Lodabar. Underline Lodabar. So King David had him brought from Lodabar. Another version says, so King David had him fetched from Lodabar, from the house of Machir, son of Amiel. When Mephish, Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honor. David said, Mephibosheth, your servant, he replied, 
don't be afraid. Underline, don't be afraid. David said to him, for I will surely show you kindness. I will surely show you grace for the sake of your father, Jonathan. I will restore, underline restore, to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather Saul, and you will always eat at my table. Mephibosheth bowed down and said, What is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like me? Underline a dead dog like me. Then the king summoned Ziba, Saul's servant, and said to him, I have given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family. You and your sons and your servants are to farm the land for him and bring in the crops so that your master's grandson may be provided for. And Mephibosheth's grandson of your master will always eat at my table. Now Ziba had 15 sons and 20 servants. Then Ziba said to the king, your servant will do whatever my lord, the king commands his servant to do. So Mephibosheth ate at, the, at David's table like one of the king's sons. Mephibosheth had a young son named Micah, and all the members of Ziba's household were servants of Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth lived in Jerusalem because he always ate at the king's table, and he was crippled in both feet. Please pray for this. Father, we thank you for your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Lazarus. Lina manza lia pila. Linguwe ukobo. Kuluma ngalo na mshlanje. Sivuli inchi ziyo. Eka meni liga chesu kristi nkosi. Amen. Amen. Now who is Jonathan? Jonathan was David's friend. Jonathan had a covenant with David. And a umasifunda when we research. The word Jonathan means it's a gift of God. Now. O Jonathan Wayne Dota Naga Saul. Manjubanu Saul. O Saul was the first king of Israel that was appointed by God. But Wahamba Wahambi Pipe Lias Chelugoti, God rejected Saul. And do men reject our Saul? Then Saul was tormented by evil spirits. Kuzagali Pipe Lish Chelugutu Abu Zuguti. Who can play Hapu? Because Umu David de Fika, where is Ali Hapu? And then these, these evil spirits will depart from him. And the Bible tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 16, Uguti, U Saul, Wam Tan, do David. Aratinanga Wam Tan, the Rota Wamenza, I am. Berayaki, I'm a Berayaki. I got the Nanga and Allah, Pogota, one menza, one menza, the leader of the armies, one niggas are the highest rank. And the Bible tells us that David succeeded in everything that he did because God was with him, his presence what was with him. Now, if we read further, who first somewhere, Lumasi and go chapter 18, the Bible tells us, who could you soul, Wahaba, why am in, who may figure and pin a yola, I'm a Philistine. Wawanoba ma Philistine, ibai peli lia shelu gutu kuzagala ban mesfazane, behamba bechege tulogo matole, bekula bechigiza, bekula matule ntogo zone jabulo, betu Sauli, ubole ubula lis only 1,000, but David, Ubulale 10,000. The Bible tells us, Uguti, therefore, Saul, Wambuga Utu Davide, Genti Zio Yoguba no Mona of jealousy because he, he knew, Uguti, only a man with the presence of God can do such. And he knew, Uguti, therefore, it means, Uguti, my throne is threatened. Therefore, Wasayambuga, Wasayam, Waba jealous of Saul and the, of David and then the Bible tells us Uguti Uta Utu Saul Wesem Zingela Utafite Mfuna Pansna Pesolo okay now when the Bible tells us Uguti who can I is there anyone in the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness Gen Naga Jonathan Kandi Gwanzagala Nigo Jonathan David to Sholan Uguti because of Jonathan's sake Okay, David, the yini loy kumbula yo, yini le akrimendo una yo, no Jonathan. Okay, isipina says vumelwa no, owa una so no Jonathan. David, yini kwa zunga kwa, yini kwa zukumbule. 
vita yindo ikhuluma ikhumbulayo uma sigithi basema bible in ethu first samuel chapter 20 verse 14 reads this is the covenant that Jonathan and David established together but show me unfailing grace show me unfailing kindness like that of the Lord as long as I live so that I may not be killed and do not ever cut off your grace your kindness from my family not even when the Lord has cut off every of David's enemy from the face of the earth so Jonathan made a covenant when this Vumelwane with the house of David saying, May the Lord call David's enemies to account. And Jonathan had David reaffirm his oath out of love for him because he loved him as he loved himself. So now we get to understand Jonathan Asenza. If we read down the text, Liashali by Beluguti, okay, when Uziba a pendula in Osi, Uti Yebo Ukona, but he is crippled, okay, in Gosarabuzangi condition ya Kugutinjani, Ibuzugutu Kona na. All right, Litiga Ibaipeli, but he is crippled. Kuna Bandu, who always like to judge us, Gang Oya Zima Zetu Esikuso, Oguti Nom Abasubuga, Gangela Yenyam, Kadukunugula, Buganja, Lubuga Isola, Ugulugula Bugangalo, Arafani Lelo Mundu, Manja, Uma Efiga Uziba, Ezo Pedulin Kosi, Uti Ukona, Ulunyonga. Kuna banda ba 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 tando gusi ugusi ugusi describe ge simo setu ayu ko nuya dago chwala ayu ko na he's an ex convict ayu ko na udama drugs ayu ko na gasebenzi ayu ko na ukutu kuti ayu ko na uya puku sachi ayu ko na gapumeleli ayu ko na agensi luto ayu ko na ukuti no kuti no kuti okay ziba uskazela ni simo samina because ziba you are disqualifying me before the king you are therefore saying personally even though the text is not explicit but i would like to believe that it implies Ugu to Ziba disqualified Mephibosheth. What he know? He is crippled. Therefore, he does not even deserve to be called before the throne of the king. He does not even deserve to come before the throne of the king. Guna Badu who have less empathy. Ababani Simo Sami. God abang abi na passion and compassion and compassion and love. Yogo tsuba sonda la tuzo gamba zongbu zogo tsi uze uwenje kwenze njani. God that they are quick. Ogo tsi umagu kona banda ba funuk zonda kula esmweni sami ba kichi ve ba ye pambili ba tiloyo ulonyonga. Loyal is crippled. Loyal is not worthy. Loyal is not deserving. Yebo ngulunyonga. Yebo I am crippled. But who has the inu gutu bunyonga bami benzi weyini. Tanige kikokele. Ume fiboshet. Ume uguma crippled kwake was not because of his own doing. Umaya kwazu who's controlless or simo. I would like to believe he would have done that. But it was beyond his control. Let me tell you what happened. Now uma gufika a message. Is ofiga in the palace. Kasol iti usol. Oh, no, Jonathan, but feel them in. Then, Bonka Badabase Palace, they needed to vacate the palace. And then, um, the caregiver or the nurse, come a fibosheth, yam tata, yam tata, he pipe a Then, he, the, the nurse dropped. So, Mephibosheth was dropped at the hands of his caregiver. Mephibosheth was born, was dropped. At the K, yes. Who are dropped? 
who are crippled because of generational curses, who are crippled because of because of childhood traumas, who are crippled because of yebogiafum. Sometimes the crippledness can be caused, can be self-inflicted. It is because I knew no better. Okay, it is because I thought God would disagree. God let us fund this and make us pampile. We will get sona. In God, can I mourn and grieve? Okay, who okay. qualify a God to anum fund this man? Hey, who would say Abe um fund this? Egbeni wa tolum tuana outside of wedlock. Egbeni aga shatanga. You are identifying me by my crippledness. But in Lalela, Lalela, he aga jazataka. Zipa doko do soto. Zipa. Don't identify me because of my crippleness, because you do not know my story. Osas is not sad. I'm identifying a guba crippled. Yebo, I'm in a place. Langa funu guba kona. Yebo, I want to be better, but I am crippled. I don't know how to come out of this situation. Anga sugu tingetse chani. I am crippled. There are people who are crippled, who are dropped by their family members, by their loved ones. There are people who are dropped, who are betrayed by their close friends. There were people who were betrayed and who were disappointed and who have, who have been failed by the people whom they looked up to. Gunabadu who are crippled because of, we don't know there are many reasons why people can be crippled. But he, understand what is causing my crippledness. Angzenzanga ukutin kibe crippled. Yebo, Gunezi, Mangenek, Zona, Gifag, Zona, Giafu, Manghaben, Abanda, Barong. It's because I did not know any better. Ungang Betel, Galoko. Now, this tells us because if you read further in the text, David is just saying, Where is he? Would he go and fetch him? Because grace, I beg you, grace, I It's a grace, loco, umuntu, and I prefer umuntu, atu ukulungulu, atu grace, loyal, gemin, and yam cat, who catch my imi, go bumusa, our seven, jengabantu. Grace qualifies the unqualified, even though we don't qualify. Even though we don't qualify to sit at the king's table, but grace qualifies us. Tell your neighbor that grace qualifies us. I am not qualified by man, but grace qualifies me. Man does not qualify me, but grace. Now, if you read down the text, the Bible tells us, Suguti, Usa Lodeba. Now, Lodeba, Deba means Pasha, right? Ithelo. Kushuguti is green. Kushuguti, there's grazing. Kushuguti is luan. Israel. Uti Deba, it's a place, it's a place of wealth. It's a place where there's life. It's a place where there's freshness. But then, Leli Gama, the prefix eti, lo, isho luguti no. Kushuguti, there was no. Kushuguti, Kushuguti, okay. Mephibosheth. Umefi project in daughter e grandson Kason. O in daughter Naga Jonathan. Kushuguti, he is royalty. He's by birth, he is royalty. By birth, he is royalty. But we find him in a place of lack. Because Lord Deba is a place of lack. 
Lodeba is a place where there is no word. Lodeba is a place where there is no communication. Lodeba is a place that is dry. Lodeba is a place that is valueless. Lodeba is a place that is worthless. Lodeba is a place like Abakonabanda, Utala Konabanda, but hopeless. Lodeba is a place that Abati Ayazin, Sangli de Lusugulo Ufa, Gehabe. Lodeba, there's nothing good that can come out of Lodeba because Lodeba is a place that does not have life. It's a place of lack. It's a place of forgotten people. Maybe your crippleness has landed you in Lodeba. Your crippleness has landed you in Lodeba. Your crippleness of any form, of any shape, has landed you in Lodeba. It has landed you in a place of lack. It has landed you in a place of hopelessness. It has landed you in a place where you feel your dignity is compromised. It has landed you in your place of worthlessness. It has landed you in a place of valueness. It has landed you in a place you're good enough. Nothing can come out of my life. It has landed you in a place of stagnation. It has landed you in a place of poverty. It has landed you in a place of sickness. It has landed you in a place of infirmity. It has landed you in a place. Your crippleness has landed you in Lodeba. But I've got, I've got a message for you this morning. The king wants you. The king has sons for you. The king has said, go and fetch him. La la la. Now, in the fetch, you let go and fetch him. Remember, he is crippled. I would like to believe. Now, the Bible tells us God will devise a plan. Grace sees you in Lodaba and it sees your crippleness. Gizo puma ganjan, gaba kisui pepe lisi kela zake ipage mengine zetu. Napi na galiza futi pepe lisi mkaba goya ke ipage mengine yetai fan ne yetu. Napi na galiza pepe lisi mkaba ke misengati. Galiza lisi mkaba ke uspume ne lisa. Kusuguti elote pa. Grace has a plan for you. Nudge your neighbor and say, don't give up. Grace has called for you. Grace has surely knocked at your door. Grace is making its way to you. Now, if you read down the text, the Bible tells us, Omefiga in verse 7, it says, David says, to Mephibosheth, don't be afraid. Now, Postoli Indians, Mephibosheth, Asabe, it is because Go when nom, Gagwem Momo, Yobukosi, Oti um um Momo, or it is so a site a law or nom. Once you once go back on a incosi encha, and gain a saloeni, finally ked and a bonk, Yala Banta de Inzalo Yonke, Yobukosi, Basep Aleni, because it might threaten the rulership and the kingship of the new appointed king. Now that is why Umefi Poshet, Umefi Gagutavit, Uti Utavit. No, don't be afraid. I'm not there. I mean, I'm grace that defies the norm. I am grace that changes things. I am grace or shinja isn't. Oh, I am grace or shinja amasoya sasa laws isn't. Hey, begu abantu kuti segunje banga mulu chuku. But in kegu nzeke. But I mean, I am grace to change your story. La I am grace or zogu restore into your rightful place. Now, umefi pochetu uti ngiaguzwa kosi kutoa inche file nje ngami unga yenzani la lela kintemna ndume figu mefi pochetu 
before David. David is not even worried. He's not even concerned. Ukuti upumapi. Ukutu isi mesinjani. Because that what grace does. Grace is merciful. Ume figi tina. Si figa minangiti. Nko sikota minanjoa anginje. Ungangensani. U figa in the throne of grace. A shameful. But I heard the Bible says. We need to approach the throne of grace. With confidence. Hallelujah. So ume figa. Ume fi boshet. U figa. U pege pants. Uti kota. I'm nothing. What can you do? Get a useless kanjena. What can you do? Get a worthless kanjena. What can you do? Go muntu oganjena. I'm nothing. People have actually confirmed. To go to minangen giza gibe iloto. Okay. Nam isi. Sasa sing chelile. And gone to enyami I will never amount to anything. I will never become anything. Vele si isa suleki. Vele gi isa suleki. What are you going to do? With a dead dog like me. What are you going to do with something so insignificant? He knows your hands and arm. He knows your hands and arm because I am a woman who is written off, a woman who is not even worthy. But I hear Grace say, and I'm buzzing, I entertain and we entertain and learn that. Oti, la la. I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. Uti, I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul. And you will always eat at my table. Gizo shabale laga shetu ya itinti itin pabanga yenzi shale na makosi. Ukulunkulu ya wazu kutati ntenge luto. Uya wazu kutati ntese delilek ile. Uya wazu kutati ntese yesi outcast. Uya wazu kutati ntese written off. Kota ayenzi izo shala na makosi. Now when you, when, 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 when grace meets you, you never remain the same. Because what grace does, it restores you. So what grace does, it restores you to your rightful place. So the Bible tells us, Uguti, what is Obuisa? Okay, grace is restoring wealth to Mephibosheth. Agasho na loko, uti lele la wena ziba. Nei sebe zizako, nizo sebe zelu Mephibosheth. Uguti ni hambe, ni o fama in his land. Goba uguze nizo wazung meze ni mali. So that is what grace does. When grace meets you, it changes your story. It makes you whole. It makes you complete. It restores you physically. Even the even though the Bible is silent to the fact that Uguti Uma Uume Fiposhet is a figure in the king's place. He got the best care. What on a physio? What on a song is into? What on a mental hair? Lalela in the in, in the presence of grace, Upida M Sibeni, Upida and Godweni, you prosper in all things. You prosper in your soul, you prosper mentally, you prosper physically because grace restores you. Grace restores you. It restores the things that have been, that have been stolen by the locusts. I mean, it restores everything that has been stolen. All the years that have been stolen by the locals. I just wanna, I just wanna encourage you this morning. Get the grace is here to restore all the years that have been eaten by the locusts. Do not despair. Grace is locating you in Lodabar. Grace is locating you in your crippleness. Grace is locating you in your crippleness. Grace has come for you. Come on, celebrate Christ. Grace has come to locate you.